So hey guys, it's Christmas Day and I We shall not cease from exploration and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time through the unknown, unremembered gate when the last of Earth left to discover is that which was the beginning at the source of the longest river the voice of the hidden waterfall on the children in the apple tree. So hey guys, it's Christmas Day and I told you I was getting an Xbox One and I got it and I thought I wasn't going to get it but I would have been e good either way to be honest. Um, I appreciate what I get, you know, um, I still have my Xbox 360 from... <laughs> You know, a while now, like three years now, I had it. You know, my point being is, I appreciate what I get, and I'm very happy about it. So, oh my God, I'm gonna buy, I don't know, Dead Rising Three or Rise of both. I don't know, to be honest. I want, I want, I wanted the system. Me, I asked for it mainly because I wanted to play Rise of the Tomb Raider on it. Um, anyway, and I got it today, and it's Christmas Day right now, uh, Christmas morning. Um, as you can see, you know, I got my stuff going on. Um. And yeah, let's unbox this. Why am I unboxing this? Well, for the views and also I just to this journey of unboxing a Xbox One for me. It's the first one. I never touched one. I touched the controller but I didn't touch the anything else. Anyway, um and I got thank you God that it came with the thing she got. Um but it came with a controller battery pack. Which I thought, I thought it, you know, and even though it's a third party one, it might suck, but at least I got one. So I don't have to worry about, you know, having batteries or whatever. And then it came with the valve. Let's open the valve first. Um, let's, let's do this. Let's this right now. In the front, back. You know, I know this game sucks. It has a whole bunch of DLC and stuff, but I'm, I'm appreciative of it. You know, it's a, it's a game either way. That I never played before, so and I'm I'm gonna try it out. Uh, actually, sorry, I did play. I did play the uh, beta when it came out um, on the PS4, I believe. Uh, hold on, one second. I want to talk about trash. I don't like my room being messy. Well, actually, that's false. I'm okay with my room being messy, but I'll prefer if it's not. Anyway. Uh, this is the first Xbox game I'm opening up, oh, and then I'll show the code, damn it. Uh, it's a two-day Xbox Live membership. Uh, no big deal. Anyway, <laughs> let me just check and see what it has so I don't show anything important. Um, Xbox Live. Jeez, advertising everything. Anyway, alright. Okay, so you get, of course, the game. And that's the game right there, Evolve. Look like V for Vendetta, actually. Then you get this, the book, which is. Huh, that's cool as color and everything. So you get a book. Got an advertisement for the season pass. For, oh, sorry, not season pass. The Hunter's Quest, a mobile game. And then. To the Xbox Live, which I will redeem by the time I upload this, so it's not gonna work. Sorry, guys. I gotta admit, like, oh, I watched the inside of this, and it's very, uh, I like the, I like how it looks. Actually. I like the new look. It, it's much more minimal. You know, it's not as fat as before. You know, compared to the 360, which is like, let me, let me get one for you. Actually. You know, you could see clearly it was it was fatter and everything, and much more big. Okay, let's continue with the main course. Oh my god, I'm so excited because it's been two years since the release of PS4 and the Xbox One, and uh, it's the first time I have one. So, oh, and so it not only comes with Evolve, it comes with Gears of War. Which is awesome! And the Ultimate Edition. So, 
and I saw these cinematics and it's amazing what they could do. Anyway, so the side. You know, you guys know what comes in this. It's so that looking like it's not digital. That looking like it's um physical. And then there's the back. I I wanna get this, I wanna get this, I wanna get this, I wanna get all the exclusives. It sucks that Rise of Tomorrow was exclusive, but eh, whatever. I have the system now, so I don't really have to bother about it. <laughs> Excuse me. And then there's that side. And you know what? You know by now what, what it comes with, really. I don't need to see anything about what it comes with. Alright. Is that it? That looks like it. I could be wrong though. I need to get a better setup than this, man. Because I realize I kind of have to reach over to do this. What am I doing now? Oh, damn. This way. For some reason. Anyway, whatever. I don't know what's in here. This is just the accessories and stuff. So, of course, you know what it comes with. This is the HDMI cable, which is very. Guys, yeah, I'm gonna do this really quickly before my. Um, I gotta do this really quickly before my storage runs out. But anyway, like, there's the quick setup guide right there. There is. So I thought it was physical. That sucks, but whatever. Um. There's the Xbox One um, version of Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Which is pretty cool, I got it oh man, that's so awesome. Um, and then a 14 day gold pass, which I already have a year anyway, so it doesn't matter. That of course. Um, this is the power cord for, the, um, for this thing here, which I want to see how it feels actually. I mean, to be honest, like, yeah, look at it. It's cool. I think, you know. I'm going to be out of plastic. Come on, man. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, man, I got ready to play this. There we go. Oh, nice and new and shiny. And finally, the controller, which I haven't held one since, god dang, um, two years now? Okay, I know, of course you get batteries, but I don't need them because I have the rechargeable pack. And here is the controller itself. Oh man, that feels so good. It really does. Yeah, look at that. And you know, you guys know. You guys know. I mean, come on, I don't need to really say. You know, just the resistance, the... The creme de la creme, my friend. Uh, okay, it's just. Uh, and there's nothing else in there. Nothing else. Is this big boy right here? Oh, I have it upside down. I'm holding it. It definitely feels lighter, it feels heavier than PS4, that's for sure. I've held the PS4 enough to know. So there it is, guys. You know, you guys know what it looks like. I just, my first impressions of it, it's very heavy compared to the PS4. Oh my god. And it's not because I did my arms yesterday. Oh. And there's the back and everything, HDMI and. The letters were yellow on the other ones, but whatever. I, don't, I ain't complaining. I'm happy. Here's the only other thing though. Um, is that there's a group, I ain't gonna say who they are, but they said that they're gonna hack the Xbox Live or whatever. It's like, why? Why ruin it for everybody else? I don't understand that. And then there's that. This. Anyway, guys, so. That's my unboxing of the Xbox One. 
I cannot wait to play it. I can't wait, can't wait to play Rise of Tomb Raider and Rise, actually. Rise, Rise of Tomb Raider, Rise, um, Dead Rising 3, um, Sunset Overdrive, I want to play that too. I can't wait. And I'm so blessed to have this. I really am. I'm, uh, thank you. You know. And anybody out there, I'm just saying today, to be thankful for what you have. And if you can, try not to eat meat simply because it's just healthier for you, you know? Let, let's put it that way. It's just healthier for you. Um, but if it's your choice to do you, you know what I mean? Um, other than that, you guys have yourself a Merry Christmas. And bye.